Alright, right, fellas, you know. Just in the mirror, it'll pick y'all up. Spin that mic like to the middle up. Will it go straight up? All right, Facebook, we live. I'm here with my man, Joseph Rivera, Junior Welterweight. Say Got a fight coming up on uh, June 1st. What's up, Joe? What's up, player? What's up? Thank y'all for having us on the show, man. Yeah, man. My man, uh, what's, the, what's the name of this business? Exclusive, DTS. Exclusive. Suspensions and everything with the calls, huh? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to change Earl good. <laughs> what, uh, Joe, what's going on, man? Oh, uh, man, he's taking it day by day, ready to, ready to get this fight. Uh, this is fight number seven? Six? Six. 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 Okay. This is a five and one. Yeah. So seven. seven. June 1st, man. Uh, you ready? Oh, yes, sir, man. We work hard every day, waking up in the morning, running in the morning. Uh -huh. Work, right after work, straight to the gym. A lot of good sparring, you. Oh yeah. In house, or you bringing in some people? Uh, we've, been, we've been bringing in some people, man. Uh, you know, me and Joe been back in the gap, bro. You know, since we were working. Uh, so for this camp, we we tried something a little bit new, man. We brought a, another guy from the outside in, just to give it a little different flavor to the to the fight. Uh, it's been working pretty good, man. It's been working pretty good for us, Coach Aldo. He's uh he's out of Tampico, Mexico. And he came uh, in for the help, you? Came, yeah, he came in to help Joe. Uh, we've been working. Uh, he's got a lot of high credentials out there, man. Worked with a lot of big people. He was, uh, I know for a fact, I followed up on him. He was out of Canelo's camp. Oh, okay. Yeah, he wasn't the main guy there. I think it was. So he was but he's in, in. He was in the loop. Man, I, I them uh, Renosos, man, that's a... Uh, they do things uh, a little different than normal, huh? It seems oh, yeah. like... Seems like uh, yeah. Man, Canelo, I'm a big fan, bro. I'm oh, yeah. a big fan, man. And I see, uh, you know, I don't see nothing but the clips, but uh, that boy is bad, man. Yeah. To, e to even be be able to perform, man, that small up there at, at middleweight, and so, he's a special guy, man. So I'm sure that was some help uh, coming in, huh? Yeah, he brought a lot of he brought a lot of good stuff to the camp, bro. A lot of good stuff, a lot of interesting stuff. Some 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 innovation. Yeah, they had something. Yeah, I know you're sucking it up. Yeah, man, we were. At, oh yeah, you know that that stage video. I got that all <laughs> on lock, man. Shit, I'm yeah. keeping that down pat. But uh, yeah, it was a good camp, man. I mean, me and Joe, we've always been good, bro. It's just you know, uh, I guess as a dad training the son, it, it, it's hard because I know sometimes when he comes in after them twelve hour days, you know, ten hour days, he's tired, and I, and when he don't give me that. 100% I said I'm on that ass excuse my language y'all but I'm on it you good and, saying uh, that. you know so I just wanted to keep the tension down between us you know because then he gets upset with me man and then we don't talk a day or so he'll be in the gym working and I'll be like hey you good and get a little head nod and that's about it but other than that man I mean it's been a real good strong camp man we've sparked with some good people uh, and now it's time to shine do you know anything about it? The opponent, or? Uh, I just know that the um, the opponent, he's uh, well, sorry, he has a pretty decent amateur background. He mm -hmm. comes out of the valley. Um, you know, he's coming in. You know, we don't underestimate. Texas, him. Texas guy. Uh, he's out of Texas, or no, no, he's out of the valley. He's out of. Uh, yeah, well, I, I'm I, sorry. I, yeah, I guess you can say that. I guess Texas. that's close to Mexico. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> close. Really, really close. Uh, When's the, when, when, when was your last fight, man? Uh, been a little minute, you know what I'm saying? Ever since um, I had kids, you know what I'm saying? I, I had to focus, work, and, and get out. You gotta pay for them. Yeah. They so, cost money, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, got, I got three of them, and, um, you know what I'm saying? I just probably been up about a good almost year and a half just since I fought. But, um, we fought in Dallas. Yeah, we fought in Dallas. I was in Dallas at the, what's it, the Gatsma? I think it was a gas monkey. It was on the yeah. Montoya promotions. It was uh, co sponsored with Roy Jones. It was, uh, <clears throat> you know, the fight was crazy, man. Uh, came out the first round. We controlled it. We dropped the guy in the first round. Uh, towards the end of the round, Aaron Navarro, which is my cut man, uh, 
he noticed something wrong with Joe, and he seen the shot. I seen the shot when they threw. I just didn't think that it did anything. You know, Joe went with the overhand. Kid moved, came with the overhand. Shoulder caught the full blow of it. And the hands went from here to ah. here. And uh, Aaron told me, Joe, there's something wrong, bro. Something, the punch ball is not the same. Look at Joe, look at Joe. And came back, man, and uh, we went out the second round. And, you know, I seen him trying to go, keep going, and the hand kept dropping, bro. So I said, uh, hey, that's it. We're done. We're done. Probably one of the hardest things I had to do. I ah, love I'm sure. But, man, I love to hear that, man, because, uh, and I'm sure your son went through a bunch of emotions and all that. But, I, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a caution coach, man. I, I'm, he can come back and fight, and, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it's something to be said about these guys letting guys tough it out when it ain't, you know he's tough. Mm -hmm. So if he if he's not gonna protect himself, you got to protect him. That's your job, man. And I see guys, I see coaches even here in sparring, man. Uh, and when it's an opponent, when it's somebody coming in for sparring, man, I'm not gonna help you out, you know. But I'm sitting here thinking to myself, this kid was done two rounds ago, man. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of. <clears throat> I heard it say this way, man. Beware of brave coaches. <laughs> yeah. The coaches be brave, but they ain't the one getting hit, man. There you go. Uh, I, I'm with you, man. And and I like the dynamic that I don't know, the father and son dynamic, man, because I would hate I, – I don't know, man. I don't know if I would be good in that capacity, man. Yeah, it's, it's a tough spot to be in, man, but it, it is good. It, it's got its good and it's bad. Like I said, you know, we bump heads, but – it's like I said, you know, everything that, that I do and I tell them, I said, if I scream at you, I'm cussing at you. I said, it ain't for me. I said, this is this is you. Right. This is all you right here. I was supposed to be at work right now. I said, but where am I at? <laughs> right, right, <laughs> you know, right. We got the shop, but, you know, he backs us up 100%. Lewis is, I go, hey, Lou, we got something going on. He go, hey, let's roll. Let's roll with it. Uh, you know, he's done a lot for us, done a lot for the gym, uh, and it's continuing to do more for the gym. So, like I said, man, all in all, it, it's been good, bro, but like I said, as far as, like, I guess uh, father and something. It is that it's a tough, tough, but it can be done. My son, uh, my fifteen-year-old, he uh, he's a dual athlete, basketball, football. He's on a, a scholarship to a prep school right now. Going, to, he's, he's going for the freshman. He's going in the sophomore year. And our last fight, he said, "Dad, you know, man, I think I, you know, cause I was, he knows how to fight, and and he would be in the gym young." And sparring everything, and uh, hey, man, I think I could box, man. I could, you know. I said, I'm sure you could, man. Uh, the part I didn't say was, man, I don't know if I want you in there. Get, I don't know how I would handle it, you know. Yeah. Uh, my dad and mother were old school, man. So my mom would see us fighting, and you know, fight. <laughs> you know, she, yeah. she, not that she didn't love us or nothing. She yeah. just, you know, she understood we were fighting, so. Uh, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I I I, I think that would add a, a a pressure to me. That I don't know. Interesting. Maybe I'd like to see how I, how I would deal with it. I know I'd be cautious too, man. If 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 if, if he got a hurt wing, man, we got to come back later, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, had it been amateur or something like that, you know, then yeah, you know, we probably could have worked through it. Yeah. But like I said, you know, Aaron. You know, like I said, I trust Aaron. I've been known Aaron for a long time. Uh, you know, but when he brought it to my attention, I seen the punch. I just didn't see the effect right afterwards because I was focused watching what is watching. he doing. Yeah, what, what's going on? What's going on here? And he told me because he goes, he goes, something's wrong, dude. Something's wrong. And uh, like I said, I, I don't know, man. It, it's hard, you know, seeing your kid get punched and hit. But hey, I'm not, this I'm, is what we grew up on, man. This I'm is, not one of these guys who's against father son team i think father son teams work out well and and some do some don't mm -hmm. i think the dynamic just needs to be there as far as fighter trainer but uh that man is interesting man i watch you know did you see that dog big guy and it, that african kid he fought underneath herd and uh harrison and he rematched him the african guy and his father said man he lets him get the Brakes beat off of him, mm -hmm. man. And I'm sitting there going, ain't shit about to change, man. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, so that's an example of wrong, I think. And then, like you said, when you seen he was injured, hey, man, you come back. 
I think it's the right thing to do, yeah. you know, uh, because before before something bad happens, you know. Yeah, exactly. We get in camp and come back, man. So it's very interesting to me, man. You see the you see the Shane Mosleys and and and, and the uh, Lomachenkos and all that. See, there's plenty of examples of good father son teams, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and then that dog red kid, I'm like, man, that's his son right there, and yeah. he's just sitting there watching him get beat to death, man. Yeah. Like life changing fights, you know. Uh, I'm very interested in that dynamic, man, because. Uh, I imagine the passions be through the roof, man. Yeah, through crazy. the roof, it that's is, your boy. I, I imagine the winds are man, extraordinary, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then we, you know, and then them, like I said, you know, we win together, we lose together. I said, just as you know, as bad as it hurts, I said it hurts me just as bad. You know, like I said, our amateur career was good. You know, we had we did eighty nine, lost thirteen. That's uh, a damn good record. You know, that's a damn good record. Yeah, we that's close to. That's about the about the same thing, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's about the same. So oh, close. My bad, time. Q. I ain't putting you out there, man. I get them tickets, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, Aiden, yeah, man. That's a hell of one. Yeah, and then that five and that one, bro. Like I said, it, it, you know, it was. I looked at it, like I said, if it ever goes back to where we get that big shot, you know, the promoter's gonna want to. Well, this kid's got one loss. What happened? Man, we don't know. You know, he dropped the guy in the first round. Mm -hmm. You know, after the second round, they want to stop the fight. You know, something was wrong. It, he didn't knock us out. You know, we didn't get knocked out. It was, you know, we couldn't. I didn't think it was right for us to continue. So, so yes, we, man, uh, as long as you're not second guessing your uh, uh, decision, it was the right decision, man. Mm -hmm. I, I uh, we had a fight here uh, when Robert had that title fight, man. And uh, he caught a little flash, man, and I pulled him off for a round uh, or two, thinking we had them early rounds. I mean, it, to me, we was boxing circles around the dude. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you don't hear the commentators on TV, yeah. what they seeing, <laughs> you know, yeah, and saying. swaying people or whatever. But, you know, I said, man, I, son, I'm going to have to take the loss because when I told you, all right, go out there and win, you went out there and, 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 and did what you had to do. Did everything but knock him out. I said, and then, you know, come to find out, the points were so off the market from what I thought, you mm -hmm. know. I got to take that charge. Yeah, that's, that's what it is, man. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, shit, we can go out there and beat the opponents. Sometimes it's just beating the judges. Yeah. The, the, you know, yeah. that's an amateur and in pro, you know. That's, you know, and when we, how old are you? I'm 42. All right. In the same, uh, same same age, you know, when we grew up, man, I don't, a loss wasn't the end of the world if you was a fighter, mm -mm. right? No, if, if, you learn know, from. All of them, you know, man, seen the loss, all them guys lost, we grew up, with, and, and, and we never did say, oh, he can't fight or none of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's kind of overrated, man, about, uh, like, if you can't sit back and say, well, Joe stopped that fight because he was injured. We're gonna be back tomorrow. You know mm -hmm. that people put a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff on the records, man. That I don't know, man. If you're a fighting man, uh, look at J. Rock. Perfect example. I'm so I'm so I'm so uh, impressed with him, man. Yep. I, that dude could fight, man. Yep. And and because he got clipped, right? It was a shot. Guys act like that was the end of the road. Look what he did. Mm -hmm. Came back and shined on uh, yeah. old herd, you know, and knew it, and knew he was gonna do that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the key is not ruining these boys' confidence, man. Mm -hmm. And I think I think a lot of trainers, a lot of fans, put that on fighters. Oh, you lost, uh, man. Knock it off, man. Go go into these kids' ambush. Joe Lewis got whooped in the ambush, mm -hmm. you know. So everybody got losses on their on their record, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, as if they get back in the gym, man. I think, you know, what you do with that. Album. I know with Robert, man, he came back like a bad out of hell, man. He just, he, you know, it, it, it made him go, oh, oh, okay, I see, I see. You know, I can't think I'm winning. I got to fight like I'm not winning, you know. And it, it's a learning experience, and that kid's hitting the gym harder than ever, man. Oh, so, yeah. Robert, Robert's a tough kid, man. I, yeah. I got a lot of love for Robert, man. Robert. Uh, He's all not alike, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, he ugly though, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my bad, Rob. You know what's up? He got a faithful for real. Nah, yeah, but uh, nah, Robert, man, he's he's good people, man. I've known Robert for a long time, bro. Like I said, back in the amateur days, uh, of course, yeah, I was glad we worked together. Our last fight together, he won, uh, he won at the Dallas Pal. He knocked mm -hmm. the kid out, won his belt, came back, and then I, shortly after that, I think he that's when he turned, he came with y'all. He, he, you know, he told me he always keeps me in the loop. We still talking. He's like, man, yeah, I'm out there with Coach D, and I was like, man, I said you was a good coach, bro. He, he knows what he's doing. Stick yeah. with him, man. I'm in, I'm enjoying working with oh, him. Oh yeah, he's, he's a hard worker, like you said. Yeah, he's work. He works real hard, dude. Uh, so I give a lot of props to him, man. Him and Joe been in there. They've been in spar sessions. They know what it was like. We used to make them spar eight, nine, ten rounds, and they were amateur going at Yeah, it. just getting at it. What was uh, Joe? What was your? Uh, what all he did as far as amateur work? I mean, that's a lot of fights. What uh, tournaments he like won? big, like the biggest one we did, we won the uh, the bronze medal at the 2013, the USA Games in Reno, Nevada. Okay, that was our biggest, you know, our biggest. We won a couple of national tournaments. Uh, we fought up in Alabama. We made it to the quarter semifinals. And we lost to a kid out of uh, yeah. California. Actually, Q was there. Q fought that same tournament. We all went out there and fought. Uh, won J.O. State uh, shit, a few years back to back. Golden Gloves. Uh, he been big. He, he was big. When you started fighting, son? I started when I was uh, 10. 10? Yeah, the first gym I was, I was at uh, Ray's Boxing Club. Ray, on um, Yeah, yeah Ray, was, Ray Ray. that's another good man. man. I got a lot of love for Ray. Ray's Ray, man. Ray is just, a lot of people will say this about Ray, that about Ray. Uh, but if it wasn't for him, man, I don't think I'd be. Well, I, I, I don't know him uh, personally. Of course, I know who you're talking about. And I've never heard, I, one of the best coaches out here. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, Everybody gives him high marks. Oh, yeah. Ray's definitely, he's real strict. You know, but hey, it was boxing. That's what it was. You know, we, you know, Ray, I remember he used to, he used to paddle us, bro. <laughs> we had a paddle, man, and uh, I used to tell them, you know, hey, you know, y'all keep on, keep on, Ray, go get the board. No, and, oh, and, man. Uh, and then one time we would, you know, back when I, I was training, and uh, I don't remember what I did. He was like, go. Oh. I'm like, for what? You finna get it too. <laughs> I was like, man. So uh, you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't not. I mean, I, I was a grown man already, bro. But I mean, I was like, damn, it was. It was you gotta good. take it, yeah, like You gotta take though, it, man. man. Yeah, and it well, wasn't nothing. Wild. It wasn't nothing crucial. It wasn't enough to make the legs shake and that's get you wild, right, man. man. But uh, you know, hell, I seen him do it with Rocky. Rocky was still fighting, you know, world champion. You know, still, hey, yeah, come on, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but oh, that, that was that was one thing, man. I can say about Ray. Them kids, they came in, bro, and as soon as that they hit in there, boom, they knew what time it was. It wasn't no boy. You get Serious ready, business. stretch out, let's go. Boom, they hit that run, get back, they're on it. And uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. When I started the gym, uh, I wrote a waiver. I got the parents to sign it couple of parents were like, yeah, tear their ass up. I don't oh, care. Yeah, here you go. So we, we tried doing the patent thing, man. But then I was like, you know, my wife came. Oh, you can't be hitting other people's kids. I was like, they just said I could. <laughs> <laughs> they signed the paper. But, uh, you know, that didn't stick around too long, man. I, I, I mean, you know, a lot of the coaches, you know, breaking it down, building it up. I just try to do it in a different way. You know, hey, you know. <clears throat> I don't know that I'm, you would have the eggs. My fighters, I guess, I, I don't know that I'm a, a staunch disciplinarian, but the way I get it is I don't fool with you if if you ain't yeah. working. So mm -hmm. every every guy, the pros, amateurs, whoever, they, you know, once you become uninterested, I'm not interested, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I make them earn anything, you know. They all want to learn something new. You know, I don't think they can do it, but, you know, just because you can don't mean you should. So, there you go. Uh, I think nah, I ain't never had no discipline problems, really. But, uh, uh, yeah, man, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm, I can be stern, but I don't usually have problems, man, because I'm not finna waste my time. Man, you learn that the more you coach, the, the years go by, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's funny to see these kids come in here and, and think, because they're athletic, you're supposed to fall all over yourself thinking, man, that doesn't mean nothing, man. Yeah, you know I mean? what I mean? The athletic people don't do shit. 
Bro, <laughs> yeah. I, I seen. I, I tell my kids that all day, man. I see these kids, they working pads, blah, 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 this and all this and all this, and then wow, and all that shit goes is out the window. Then you're like. Shit, what do I do now? What do I do now? Where's all that little flash? No, you, <laughs> you seen my pad work, man. I, ain't nothing, yeah, no flash yeah. at all, man. I, yeah. I, I don't even know how to flash with it, man. I look at it, those, I'm like, hmm, I see that, but I don't see that when you perform, man. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see it at all. And I'm not against nothing, man. I, I've learned enough. I've been doing this 22 years. I've learned enough to know to watch everything, mm -hmm. see everything, suck up everything and see if it's if it's practical, if I can use it. Uh, I've had trainers tell me the same thing. Coach, I use your this, that, and third. Man, I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? If you can do it, do it, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, man, I ain't finna win no uh, pad contest. <laughs> <laughs> but my boy's gonna fight, though. Yeah, I bet you ain't know how to fight, yeah, though. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is, man. And I tell them, I say, you know, that's that's. I guess that's one thing about the kids. Oh, I want this. I want a pad work. And I, I said, man, you know, pads don't make champions at all. I I, I had a uh, my uncle, man, who was a ring middleweight and center guy who taught us how to fight. He never hit the speed bag ever. He looks like he's seventy now, but he, he. I remember my first gym in Houston. I, I opened in Missouri City, Stafford. He came in because we was fighting my nephew in the Golden Gloves here. And, and uh, and he said, man, I, I don't get that speed bag. And I, I went to thinking. I said, yeah, we was hitting the speed bag. He said, man, what am I going to hit that for? I said, what? <laughs> you know, but it's just, it's, it's different things for different people. Uh, practical. And his style of fighting was uh, coming forward, aggressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just, it's, it's funny. You know, it show, shows some people don't need certain things. Some people do. Uh. I had a gal come in here, man, uh, said she'd been boxing so many years or whatever, and I said, yeah, okay. And she goes, uh, yeah, I'm looking for a gym. I done left a couple of gyms. I said, okay. Yeah, but I don't get no pad work, and, and, you know, I'm looking for pad work. I said, well, you need to go down the street. Keep going down there because, and I wasn't being rude. I was just telling them, first of all, you ain't finna tell how I'm finna make you be able to fight anyway. You know, and I'm not a boxer size guy, right? And that, there's so many of those places. You know, how many trainers you know? That's their that's their thing mm -hmm. is, is is working miss and stuff. Man, I don't remember miss as a kid, man. My uncle, uh, he put on boxing gloves and and, and mimic sparring, kind of like what I do with my pad work. And mm -hmm. you would hit the gloves. You know, that was his. Pad. I don't remember pads, man, in the '80s, man. And and. And so now, I think it's a very useful tool. I think it's important. I think uh, to mimic a fight, uh, you need to be in there with the guy. But yeah, I don't. I don't know that it's it's uh, as important as what people make it out to be. Yeah. Not that you shouldn't do it. Not that you shouldn't uh, uh, have your little, especially in camps, right? Yeah. And people watching, you know, it's good entertainment. Uh, but I don't know, man. I don't remember hitting pads as a kid, bro. Like, I don't even remember Mitch being around. I don't remember that at all, man. I, I think about it, too. I mean, I use them, but I call myself mimicking a fight, you mm -hmm. know, every time. Uh, specific specific uh, uh, shots and, and feet placement. You know, that, all that type of yeah. stuff. Right. You can mimic right. the fight and push them there, you know. Uh, but, hey. It what works, works. You know, yeah. it, it, some kids probably learn off of boxing mitts and, and, and they bad to the bone, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. You, uh, 713, man, you've been around since I've been in Houston, man. I think I got involved in, in amateur boxing in Houston about 07, maybe, 08, something like that. Uh, and I, 713, been around, man. How long, how long did camp, uh, gym been existing? Man, we've been... I want to say at least since 2000 and maybe around 2009, 2010 so is probably where I were. That's about right. Like man. I said, I, I worked with uh, with Ray's boxing gym for a long time, and uh, I think we were there probably about almost six years. And uh, I started coaching for him. We started, to, you know, started picking up everything that he had to offer. And so, uh, what was he? Would you say you apprentice under him? Oh yeah, definitely. 
man, that's that's so missing, man, out the game with a lot of these coaches, bro. I, I learned, I learned, man, I learned from the kids sometimes, bro. I learned from you. I learned from watching everything. I, I watch fights, you know, and I sit there and I study in them and. And I see a good shot, and I say, okay, well, why did he throw this shot? What, you know, what is it that makes right. him uh, range and distance? Mm. If you don't know mm. where you're at in the ring, what you going to do? Forget about it. You'd be, <laughs> you'd be surprised how many, you ask a, a random boxer, what's the difference between range and distance? No clue. They don't know. I've they had don't know. people say that's the same thing. I, no, okay. it's not. I hate you. It's, it's, <laughs> and see, and that's, that's the thing. They think it's the same thing, but they're not being proper. You. You, I'm sure, it's seldom you find trainers, man, won't allow guys to come in and learn to coach. You know, you know, long as they ain't assholes or, or troublemakers, you would think more more guys who want to be boxing trainers mm -hmm. would come around gyms and hang out instead of uh, uh, paying their feet mm -hmm. and now I'm a trainer, you know. My big thing about that is you're practicing on the kid, man, getting hit. You know, and that, that kind of bothers me, man. You know, because these kids get, get you know, I always, you only got a certain amount of times you get hit in the head, bro. And these guys, you can almost see they they practicing with a kid, you know. Mm -hmm. And a kid, man, a, a kid, get, like any sport, a kid give you a thousand percent, man, you know. And if you're telling them wrong, you got a thousand percent to the wrong, man. Yeah. You get hurt. Uh, I think that's missing out the game, man. Guys yes. uh, coming around the gyms and and and, and uh, getting with a guy and actually doing, uh, like I said, an apprenticeship, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Somebody that's got more experience. Yeah, everybody's got to learn, you know. I, you can't stop learning, man, in this sport, man. You're going to learn every fight. You're going to learn every year you in it. Uh, so... That guesswork will get you in trouble, man. You get people hurt like that, man. And uh, so you was lucky enough to get one of them top guys here. Yeah. And like I said, I, I've been in the ring a couple of times. Uh, actually, Carlos, man, Coach Carlos from CDM was mm -hmm. the first one to introduce me to a liver shot. <laughs> man, bro. It sucks, man. I thought, my, I thought my ribs were broke. I ain't even lying, man. I, I, I couldn't. I was sick at the time when I got hit with that body shot. I think Joe remembers. He was there. And uh, every time I cough, man, or every time I, I had to put, <clears throat> man, and it was it was hurting. And uh, yeah, I said, yeah, after that, I said, man, I said, yeah, you know what? Getting too old with it. My body ain't can't handle all that no more, man. We're going to do some coaching now. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what I tell a lot of kids. You know, I, I mean, my recommendation on it, like with these coaches and stuff like that, especially the new ones, they, you know, hey, get in there, do this, do this, do this. And then, I'm like, man, you know, it's easier for you to say, go do this, go do this. I said, but every time you tell this kid to do something, you don't see he's getting hit with his left hand or he's getting hit with his right hand. And, you know, it's just a, it's a combination of things, man. It's a, like you said, it's a learning process. And if you don't know what you're doing, man, and you're trying to practice with one of these kids, you can get somebody hurt. Seriously, seriously. It's not, it's not a game, man. Boxing is far from it, you know. Joe, so you, uh, eight and nine, well, that's a lot of fights, man. What, what was the catalyst to say, okay, I'm ready to go pro? What was the decision? Um, well, I turned pro as soon as um, my neck, as soon as I turned 17. So you was old enough, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was, um, was that always the plan or, or, or as you got later teens? Okay. As I got later teens, you know, it was more of a teen, like a teenage day. I was like, well, I'm, I'm not working, so, you know, I wanted money in my pocket. Time to go fight. Right. It's a hard hustle, man. It's a hell of a way to make your money. You got a, uh, you say you're married, man? You got some kids? Or yeah, one? yeah. Got a um, baby mama. Not married, but, um, you know what I'm saying? Three kids? Yeah, I, three I was kids. 21. That's, yeah. that's my story, too. I was, by 21, I had three, too, man. Man. It's <laughs> uh, jump in with both feet. Oh, yeah. Man, man. <laughs> gotta work, gotta take care of them kids, gotta man. get it, man. That's what I say. I give them a lot of credit, man. I know it's hard, you know, getting up, going to work, and yeah, coming man. back, and then doing it. And then hitting the gym, man. So I told him, I don't, I don't you know, I told him, I said, you would have just listened to me, would have did it the right way. Yeah, but now it's like, man, uh, you know, I catch him every now and then. He's I different, man. He's different. <laughs> Everybody's different, yeah, man. This yeah, is me, yeah, though. Yeah, okay, but, I hear you. But shit. he tell me, man, Dad, I wish I would listen to you. I said, but, you know, it's all a lesson, man. We learn from it. 
Yeah, man. Gotta you gotta work with go. what you got. You uh, who some of the fighters, man? Who's your who? Who some of your uh, idols? I guess you would say coming up that you like to watch. Uh, like in professional. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Mayweather was a, was a good one, man. Mm -hmm. uh, and Pacquiao too. Uh, I guess that's your yeah man. That's your uh, that's that was right up your alley, man. That was his area. That's some hell of a uh, guys to watch them. Both of them guys are yeah. special, man. Mm -hmm. What you think about uh, this Thurman Pac Man thing, man? Oh, this one this would be a good fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pac Pac he still got to even though he's getting up there. You know what I'm saying? He's still mm -hmm. working on that speed and. As long as you got speed, speed kills better than power. He's always alive, though. Yeah. You know, that Pac Man. Yeah. He uh. He liable to show his ass and knock you out, or, or you know, yeah, uh, for that old man. It's up there. It's up there, man. I this is probably good for him, man, because Thurman's inactivity. If you're gonna get in there, mm -hmm. one of them top guys, you know, uh, a guy who's been away from it for a while. Uh, I don't know. I think I lean towards Keith Thurman, but I I, I see he didn't look good in that last one. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go with the. Uh, Experience on this, man. You know that man has been in some wars, bro. Not just in one weight class. You know, no, man, yeah, man. he's jumped from what has he got? Nine? Is it nine different weight classes? Right? Yeah, he started out real little, man. Right? Yeah, one twelve or something, mm -hmm. something ridiculous, man. And uh, he's had a lot of experience, man. But like I said, I don't, I don't take nothing away from Thurman. I like him; he's a good boxer. I just, I'm, I'm going with my gut feeling on this. I think, I think Pacquiao's gonna pull it out. That's gonna leave left hand, huh? <laughs> you know them southpaws, bro. They <laughs> yeah, you got it. It's definitely a skill, man. Yeah. The fighting boys, yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta have something, man. It's a, it's, it's it, a lot of guys because you know how we fight, how I fight. Uh, you gotta go against. Speaking of the devil, there you go. You gotta go against. Uh, there he is, Robert. Hey, man. Man. <laughs> uh, you gotta go against your nature, man. Yeah, you know. You, you, yeah. while you steady looking for room and setting up shots, they take advantage of, it, you know. And so you better know where you're at oh, yeah. and keep in mind us with that right hand, bro. It's, it's, it's a hell of a thing, man. Oh, yeah. This guy you fighting, he's a, he's a right handed fighter? Yeah, right handed fighter. Right handed fighter, right -handed right -handed fighter man. And this, it, this is your first fight in how long? You said uh, about almost a year and a half. About a year and a half, okay. Yeah. That's right. not necessarily a bad thing. You jumping back in, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back into it, just like I said, you know, I had to take some time off to get, get uh, my family situated. Mm -hmm. Now I got time, and now I've just been focusing on the 21, shit. man. That ain't, that ain't hurting nothing. Yeah. Just knock the rust off. Oh, yeah. Inactivity will kill you. That's but you got the. Yeah, at least hit, be in the gym, man. Hitting something, punching something, man. Uh, I tell you, man, my experience with these next fight up guys, man, they put on a good, great shows, man. Yeah, uh, I see that. She never been doing some big things, bro. Big dude, things. dude, we fought in uh, uh, Beaumont. Beaumont. Dude, the bell was supposed to ring at 7. That bell rung at 7, man. It might have been 7.15. Yeah. I was falling out, man. I ain't never seen a show start on time yeah. like this, man. And it was, I mean, it was people there. It was packed. You know, it was, it was a great atmosphere, man. Them guys put on a, a real good, uh, uh, show uh it ran properly you know mm -hmm. i enjoyed it man and i've been to a couple of these shows before we fought on one uh yeah before with these guys before I mean, nah this I is actually know. our first time I, uh me and force talk and uh trying to do a couple of things here you know just trying to keep the local heat a lot of his well shit, mostly all of his fights were out of town in dallas uh we fought like i said under montoya uh which is a great guy we love working with them you know probably still gonna be working with them right um, his venues, his shows, you know, they were, they were real good, real good shows. We fought a couple of times, there were televised fights that he had. Uh, we got the swing bouts, there were Roy Jones promotions. Uh, you know, so it, it was real good, man. Uh, just like I said, that last fight, you know, we had to make a tough choice. I had to do what was best for my kid, not my boxer. Man, man, yeah. look, damn anybody say otherwise, man. We don't care about that. You uh, 140 pounds? 145. Well, right now we're about 143. We're fighting at 140. Yeah. We took this fight at 140 because the dude couldn't make the 35 like we had agreed. Uh -huh. So, uh, I said, you know, that's five pounds. You know, that's 
You know, so. you gotta kill yourself, man. You say, you say, who, who, who works with you, uh, Aaron? You usually uh, use Aaron? I, I use an Aaron or Lencho for my cuts. He okay. works, so he works, he does my cuts. And uh, cornerman, just, you know, it's usually me, my partner, Coach G, Coach Chewy. Um, These are guys in the gym with yes, you? Sir. Yes, sir. You always, I mean, the last one I went to, man, was backed out. I went over there and uh, it was a sparring thing I think you was throwing. This was a couple of years ago. But, uh, that gym's always busy, man. Yeah, we try. We try to stay busy, man. We try to do a lot of things, you know, uh, keep it going, uh, keep it interesting, keep boxing in use, bro. Uh, how many, uh, how many is fighting up on there? I know you got your one, I know the one boy. Uh, Sanchez. Uh, how many pro fighters I got? No, 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 no. Your sons. Oh, uh, the boys fight. Uh, oh, I got Lito. Elijah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's up and coming. He's actually, bro. He's uh, I think they dropped. Put it that way, cause he's he's done picked it up a whole. He's done took it to a whole different level. Got that little <laughs> tone in his voice now. He be calling out Joe. Mature. Okay, yeah, Mature. yeah. yeah. Mature. I'll, I'll spar you too. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually they. I got in there a couple of times, man, and uh, and I'm, I'm talking to Joe, and I'm like, hey, I was like, how did you? he was like, I was like, you let him hit you? He was like, nah, he hit me for real. He hit me for real. And I'm like, hey, that's good, but you tell Lito, and Lito will get that. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, he, he's been doing good, man. He's been doing really good. He works he's real fight, hard. Man. Yeah. I, I, I root for him, you know that. Yeah. And when I see As him. a matter of fact, we uh we came back and we beat the kid, bro. Well, I say we beat the kid. It, Judges said something different, but I saw, I sent you the fight. Mm -hmm. uh, that was that fight that we fought out there in uh, the Woodlands. We lost. Right. I gave it to the kid, you know, like I said. Next time we came back, we prepared. We had the South Falls bar, and I thought the same rounds that you said we had, that's what I thought we had. And yeah. uh, Unfortunately, it wasn't, but he was good with it. He knew he won. When he walked out, he knew. And I he said, was hey, yeah. 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 He goes, we'll fight again. I said, that's all I said. We're going to fight every time we see him. Yeah, every time. One, so one day, time. yeah. So he say no. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and so he say, you know what? There's somebody a little crazy mess and keeps coming back. He don't stop. I know that's you know? right. <laughs> I know that's right. I'm rooting for him, man. That's the only other one, though, right? That fight? Uh, yeah, mean, now. Uh, my daughter's used to, but they, they've been out for a while. Man. Man, they've been, cut it out. Man. Yeah, they, I guess I was too hard on them, man. Oh. <laughs> that's what mama says, man. I used to make them get up at 3 in the morning, bro. Go run. Gotta go. Gotta go run and come back home, shower. Y'all go to school and I go to work. But you know, in order to be something, man, you gotta you gotta push yourself, bro. You gotta you gotta push yourself past them limits. Uh, like I said, we had a couple of fights that we were going. We we're gonna go to Dallas, Louis, Louis, and then we we're gonna sponsor them all up, get them up there to Dallas to fight. Uh, was it last year? Or the year before? It was last year, and then uh, last minute the opponent fell out. And then he was like, man, we put all that work in. And it was just, and then that's kind of where he just started, you know, just picking up on his overtime at work, stood out a little bit, and then came back in the gym and we hit it hard. Man. So hopefully this year it's going to be a lot better for us. Uh, are we in June? Mm -hmm. Are we in June? Mm -hmm. How many, time, how many more times are you trying to fight this year? As much as possible? Yeah, as much as possible, man. We're just trying to stay busy, you know, just jumping, you know, jumping yeah, on I got cards. something that's on the book besides this one? Up on uh, we got offered a fight on uh, next month on the 13th in Dallas. In Dallas, in Dallas yeah. Uh, on Montoya's card, like I said, the dude throws some good cards. The only downside with that is my daughter's just gonna be going into labor around that time. Leander's fixing to have her baby, so congratulations. I told him, thank you, appreciate that. Uh, so I told him, hey, you know, with my daughter, she was a high risk pregnancy. Uh, she had a miscarriage on the last one, uh, so this time they went. The proper way of doing it, it was God's plan, so everything should be, will be good to go. Should be 35 weeks around that time, so it'll be pretty close. Yeah, them, uh, close. them grandbabies, man, man, that's special. Well, congratulations, bro. Uh, that's, that's, I, that's a whole man, different level, man, man, right there. I got her out there. She stays with me, man. His daughter, she, I think she's going to be a boxer, man. If he's here, she, <laughs> she loves putting them gloves on, bro. She loves putting them on, man. But uh, Do what I'm like a... I'm, Bro, I'm like a whip puppet, man, around that, that granddaughter. I got, oh, I got two other grand uh, kids, big boys, though. Yeah. This one here, man, got me stuck. Oh, bro. yeah, the boys, they, his boys are something else, man. God, them boys, man. He don't, <laughs> maybe <laughs> Joseph <laughs> Benjamin still, he's still in the, in the carrier, the car seat and all that, so he, he ain't started walking. Baby Joseph, man, they, 
I can't. Yeah, you got to come get him already, man. The hour and a half. <laughs> you, got, you don't stop, bro. He, he, you take him away from this, and then he's in there. You, hey, you leave that, and then back over here at this again. He's a bro. handful, bro. Yeah, bro. He's, he's in there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward for them getting older, man, and start getting ready to get them in the gym. Absolutely. That's what I'm mean. That, uh, <clears throat> so June 1st, Arabian Shrine, man, they call it Stag, man. I got two. JoJo's on the card. Uh, There's a few. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be that, a packed card. Did you see that first uh, fight between uh, what's his name? Ibagwe. Ibagwe. And uh, did you watch that fight? No, I didn't get a chance to and watch. No mind. They rematching, man. Oh, oh that man. was a slugfest, bro. Yeah. The, uh, the guy upset him. Yeah. Took his title, bro. What they stop the fight? Because of the cut. Yeah. Because of the cut. Oh, that fight got stopped. Yeah. Man, why was I thinking he made it to the no, what round? It got stopped. It stoppage. Yeah, from a cut. Yeah. Trouble, right? Yeah, he got cut. cut. And Dude, they, they went, the went at it from the round six, one. Ding. The fifth round. They went yeah. at it, man. But yeah. what they're saying, it's gonna be. A, might not be no tickets at the door. Yeah, man. It's, it, it might it, not. It might it's not stacked, man. If you like boxing, bro, it's some class boxes. Yeah, but they got on this on this card. They got a lot of top. We got Jesse Jesse Garcia used to be with us. Rob, my boy, man, my boy Rob was beast in our last. Like I said, I, when he told me he like I'm going with coach, I said, like, hey man, that's you got a good coach, bro. And I, Rob's always, we've always been up and up, but I was glad our last fight knocked that dude out. Remember in yeah, Dallas, yeah, won yeah, that yeah. belt, Dallas Powell, uh, Pablo, Jericho on there, Gene. Yeah, man, this is, yeah, it's, it's gonna yeah. be a packed card, bro. It's Raven Shrine Center. It's gonna is, be jumping. Is, is Gene Hill still on the card? Uh, I think, I think. I think Eugene's off the court. Court. Uh, I don't want to say that. I might maybe be mistaken. Okay. But uh, I'm just going by what I yeah. seen as far like, as I know. There. I think they might add some new ones too. Yeah. Uh, so, so oh, you I know what? I did. Well, D. they yeah. added Quentin, so you know he wasn't on it at first. Oh yeah, D. Yeah, he was D. at it. D. D. Reed, yeah. yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be live. Man. Oh yeah, D. Reed's fighting um um Alex Gate Is he? Is it is that Gaten? I thought he was fighting uh, Rick Brown. Rick Brown. Okay, he might be. He might be. He might be. I, last, I know that's I the last seen... I heard. It was a point of that change, but that's what I heard. Man. I'm trying yeah. to get them knockouts. Yeah. Down oh, dollars. Yeah. Down <laughs> dollars. <laughs> Break bread. Yeah, I need them knockouts. Yeah, yeah bro. That was, a, that's a, that was mine already. Oh, I can show Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. that's, that's how I told Oscar, man. I told Oscar that last fight we had, you know, he was saying, uh, I said, look, bro, I said, the knockout comes, let it come. So yeah. Don't go looking for it, man. At all. It. Don't play to that crowd. You get whooped like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 let the fight get away from mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. You know. It don't take but a saving. It just takes, like I said, it just takes one punch. And it's That's the ones it. you don't see coming. That's the ones that that hurt. But uh, you know, I just told them just box, bro. Just box. That's what we're doing. That's what it's called. It's boxing. Boxing. Absolutely. The boxing lasts. Mm-hmm. And uh, how many pros you got over there? Uh, Seven one three. I got four. Four now. Jojo. Jojo, Shane Evans, Hector Garcia, and who is the fourth one? Oscar and Travis. Oscar. And uh, Travis, Travis will be back. I, I started working with Travis Conley, uh, but right now he's having some heart problems. So once he gets back in the gym, gym yeah, that, that's the only problem right now. But kid was doing good, bro. We had him working. Try to change the style up a little bit. Uh, it was it was fitting them. It was fitting them. We had a couple of good spar sessions. I was hoping we could have got Robert out there to work with him, but uh, like I said, once he gets back, we'll either come over here or y'all shoot out. Yeah, we need like that. Man, uh, I always looking for some sparring. Man. Uh, what you think about this boxing business, man? You in it? Yeah, he's in it now. <laughs> my boy, my boy pulled through, man. We hit a little slump and. Uh, he pulled through for us, man. Exclusive. Oh, boy, pulled us out. It's, um, it's fun, man. I got my, my kid, you know, he's training on. So he's, got, he's, he's seven years old. But, um, Southpaw. Young boy learning, man. Yeah. Jank ass. Yeah, it, it definitely changed his <laughs> attitude, though. Like, uh, he exactly. was real close. He wasn't talking to nobody. He was real lonely, you know, like playing by himself. And now he's. Oh, so nice, man. Yeah. That right there. That's, that's it that's right one there. Of the, one of the things that made me. You know, push me towards it. You know, because he opened him up. I started so, with other kids. You know, confidence boost. Yes, definitely. 
man, I have a son, man, that's very, uh, uh, what would be the word I would use? Introverted. Introverted. Uh, probably like your son was, man, and I, and I was never that way with that. So, it's hard for me to really recognize the anxieties in, in him talking to people and all that, you know. What I may have thought was rude was him just not comfortable with somebody, you know, just, man, I'd rather be at home doing something, you know. And so if your boy found his way out of that, man, with boxing, man, it, and it's, I think boxing, I, the biggest, the, the, the best part of boxing I see, man, is, is making these kids, girls and boys, bro, self-reliant, man. They, you know, that's probably why that confidence comes in, man. I can depend on me. Yeah, if these guys, if somebody's picking with me, I'm uncomfortable, I can say, hey, man, stop. Yeah. Or or even just leave. You know, just get up and leave because you're comfortable inside your skin, man. I think that confidence, you can't... Uh, yeah, the confidence be off the roof, though. I mean, I don't know if I'm a boxer, you know, like... <laughs> yeah, he, he uh, man, bro, the first time I sparred him, I got a little, a little class that I do, and I, I sparred him. And the first time he got hit a couple times, and he was like, he got hit. And I think it was at the, the fundraiser, right? We did. He was like, nah. Next time I told you to spy, he was like, nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I said, look, I said, trust me. He said, let's work. We're going to work a little bit. I just, all we did was just straight one, two. Just started off on one, two. Right. That's it. Next time we got in there, bro. I was, Damn, he didn't piece that little kid up. Like, wah, 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 he let him wah, go. Wah, 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 he let him go. Man, mm -hmm. and it was like, I go, you see? I said, don't be, don't be scared about it, man. Just get in there and let your hands go, bro. And uh, he did, bro. Now, you tell me, hey, you're sparring. Okay, okay. They come in. All, and that Life altered. Yeah. Bro. Changed and, the path. And, and, they, and all the kids just be like, bro, they come in. And Tuesdays, Thursdays, the gym will be empty. Because mm -hmm. they know that's spar days. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to change it up on them. Hey, everybody get ready to spar. It's Wednesday, coach. <laughs> <laughs> we changed up y'all missed yesterday so we gotta change it yeah. up so you know but uh that time he got in there man he, he did his thing bro he, he, he did his thing you know a young a young boy man not everybody girls too but you know that that willingness i think to draw the line in the sand because even at seven and eight man if you spark that speed that that, that seed where he'll say no this is, you know, or yes, or whatever the case may be. He draws the line in the sand because of confidence, man, to, to, to where before introvert or whatever the case may be, and not particularly your son, just kids in general, they uh, want to hide, you know, hide inside themselves. Mm -hmm. And when you give them, I think, that confidence, man, to, uh, you know, basically to say to defend themselves, man. And, the boxing to cross over not only to physical, but, you yeah, know, yeah, hey, man, real life, yeah. that's my lunch money, man. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> that's, and, and, that's, and that's, they need that, man. That, that's one of the reasons why I was, actually, before he moved in, I was looking for a boxing gym to put him in there. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, some type, you know, to Something. teach him some discipline and, and defend himself. I'm the dad that be at the the donut day in, in, in right, 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 right. So I would notice, you know, all the kids, the bigger kids, you know, picking the little kids, and the teachers, I mean, they're just in their own, you know, in their own zone. Ain't paying the attention kids, to them. You know, they ain't really paying attention, but you see the little kids, you know, getting all pushed around. Why they run your hat, huh? Yeah, so it's like, you know, and I told one of the teachers one day, and I was like, hey, dude, look, he's, he's picking on us. Oh, he'll be fine. You know, like, that's how they play. But, I mean, you can tell right away he wasn't playing. The little kid wasn't playing. He was He's terrorizing taking, this you know, kid. Yeah, you know, just taking it, you know. Man, that was Getting on the floor. And, and uh, that's one of the things that I tell uh, the people that I kind of guide, you know, towards, like, hey, man, look, it, it'll help them. You know, you don't see what happens in school, you know. And I've seen some of it. So it kind of just, you know, made me push them towards it. You right. Know? It's, it's, it's so much, even 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 involved parent, man, uh, and believe me, I evolved as a parent over the years, you know, I was such a young guy with kids, man, and, and, and when I look back, I, I, damn, I didn't know nothing, you know, I didn't understand, I didn't, I didn't, there was the signs I wasn't paying attention to because I was still a kid, right, and then now you look back at it and you go, you know, you can see, 
those things. You know, you're up at the schoolhouse and you see these kids getting tested. Man, and and to us it may not be nothing because we consume with bills and stuff like that. But to that kid, that's his world. Yeah. That's his world. You know, and if he's scared to go to the bathroom because some bully, who nine times out of ten is getting bullied at home, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. got a punk ass daddy or mm-hmm. whatever that's bullying him, so he's he's just lashing out and and and, and shit rolls downhill, mm-hmm. man. Uh, it's heartbreaking, man, when you see that, man. See these yeah, kids get picked. I mean, kids today, man, they getting medicated and everything because they just can't deal with the social uh, anxieties, man. And I'm gonna tell you, rather not your kid ends up a fighter, actively fighting mm-hmm. or not, bring them to the gym, man, because at the very least, that muscle memory will kick in, mm-hmm. and that hand will jump out and hit him in the nose, and then oh shit. Okay, I don't gotta put up with this shit, you know. Uh, uh, and I know that's not uh, correct these days, but I rather my son or daughter go on and get his frustration out than getting terrorized every day. You know, uh, we need it, man. The kids need it, man. They socially all. And like you said, man, the telling shit don't work. You know. You go tell, you tell the teacher, oh, we'll take care of it. They push it to the side because they're dealing with an abusive spouse or or, or, or work problems. It's just the reality of the thing. A lot of kids, man, they... And and like I said, I mean, sometimes the teachers just go get a check, you know, and and call it a day. Right, they coasting like anybody, Mm -hmm. man. Uh, Yeah, you provide a a very uh, needed thing. In the community, bro, and I think all the gyms do, man. We all do. I know a lot of people, uh, they're afraid, you know. Ain't no training workers saw fitting to put a kid in there and let him get hurt anyway, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we gonna teach him how to throw a punch and stick his chin in his chest and defend himself, man. It's very important, bro. Uh, long before you get to the JoJo professional boxing and all that type of stuff man kids make their win that's living proof right there a guy who, who's whose kid has turned the corner man uh coming out of shell man that's a it's, it's a beautiful thing now there was a little uh, uh school I mean, it, 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 it's not just mine and i've seen them in a lot of kids you know what he told. that's a yeah. big one you know like uh it's it's he's it's, it's short you know and he's real he's real chubby so for him to get out there and run and do all that, and then he gets it, you know, and then he's be running and all that, and sparring, now he's sparring, yeah. and, you know, so it's, it's different, like a different point of view when you start seeing all the little kids, you know, do all this stuff, you know, but as far as, you know, going pro and stuff, I mean, it's not something you take into consideration. Right, right. right. Coming off, uh, fast. Well, I mean, you, you know, in school, they ain't gonna get their, you know, pushed around or anything, because they already know what time it is. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. And confidence building, man. Like I said, that self resilience, bro, is, is a hell of a thing. And he'll have that, man, from now on, man. And, and when he has boys, come here, man. <laughs> Let me show you how to throw this right hand. <laughs> you don't got to put up with that shit, man. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. That uh, 140 pounds, you plan on staying active, man. You need to scale that a 100 fights, man. Amateur fights. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What you had? Ten? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Sixteen, seventeen, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, a little more than that. Sure. Yeah, that's it. About sixteen, seventeen, yeah. Yeah. Jojo, eight is nine and twelve or something, man. Yeah. He said, yeah, he said, took him out of that diapers and he's part of number. Nah, he's body trained. He can fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can roll it. He can roll it. All right, let's go. Actually, bro, there, there, there is videos on uh, on YouTube. Kid can't even barely walk. Throwing a jab, though. Swing. Throwing a jab. Swing. That's how it was, man. That's how we, that's how we do it, man. It's been in the blood. I tell you, man, uh, you know I'm rooting for him, man. I, man, y'all wasn't so, I, I stayed like uh, two miles from here, man. So I ended up here, and then the guy bought the gym, and, you know, I ended up over there. It was there, a good I, thing for you, man. Yeah, yeah I, I, we had talked about it. You know, you coming down there, joining up, and yeah, looking for a place, man. Uh, help you out with this fella here, man. I could take a little shine with me, man. He's winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, amateur show you got coming up, man. Yes, sir. June twenty 
21st and 22nd. 21st and 22nd. Battle of the Beast 4. Okay. Uh, it's going to be on the east side too? Uh, uh, it's going to be on the north side. It's going to be off of Alding, Westfield, and it's called Pineda's. Uh, well, I don't know what street it is, but it's Pineda's uh, Hall. Uh, we got all the information up on our social media. If anybody Coaches got any just need to. Uh, yeah, just contact send, you and give you give you give you that roster. Yeah, send the list over. Uh, we're not doing belts. We're not doing trophies. We're doing uh, custom made things. My boy Lewis again we got CNC machine. Get him. We're gonna we're gonna post it once he gets through with the demo. We're gonna post it out there, and uh, we'll probably working on a team trophy, something like that. Uh, get the guys out there. Get it's gonna be a good show. Man. It's gonna be a good show. Yeah, we're we'll playing. We'll take the part, man. We're we'll gonna be out. Appreciate there, the support. Appreciate uh, it. I got me a little hand on to it, man, and I think it's, it's nice, man. You, you need to get him active, man. He likes to bully Robert, man. He pushes Robert. <laughs> 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 I, <think it's> <laughs> I ain't met him yet, Rob. I thought I was the biggest yeah. bully in the gym. <laughs> nah, he's a uh, Dominic Terrell, man. He's a, he, he's a 21, 22, something like that. 132? Yeah. I seen 32 pounds, man. I he got a fight, couple fights. Yeah. Said about the gloves, right? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I the remember. gloves, the newcomer. I remember. Uh, we need to fight him again, man. Uh, that'll be probably June, June, uh, July, you said? June, June 21st. Oh, well, then that's where we fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we'll put him down with that. I'm gonna okay. send yeah. you the list. Wait, I'll name and all that shit. Get all that, man. Yeah, we're gonna do that, man. Uh, the shop, man. Uh, Let's make sure we get the shop name in there. You bit the uh, yeah exclusive, exclusive BTS. BTS. And 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 you do the rims, the tires. You know, it's it's mainly trucks. You know, it's, it's, we do the lifting, the dropping, cutting them. You know, okay. all the accessories, bumpers, lights, you know, all that stuff. Okay. That's what we get down there. Yeah, you should see his truck. His tires are probably about as big as this room. <laughs> he got a big old truck, bro. But he does some real good work, man. Y'all look at my boy, exclusive DTS. Uh, and uh, we gonna be rooting for Joe, man. That uh, you know, I bag seven one three over here, man. Been doing that. Oh, right, so appreciate the love, baby. Uh, we gonna show up at that amateur show, man. But y'all don't miss this June fight, uh, June first, Arabian Trine Center. We got Robert Redman Jr. We got Quentin Randall. We got my man Jojo Jr. Welterweight Rivera. Uh, fight number seven. We're going to get that win. Oh, yeah. Get it out the way. We're going to get a couple more. Yeah, 40 years up. <laughs> uh, shout out to Forrest and uh, Joe. They put on beautiful shows, man. Uh, I expect we all get out there and show out, man. Uh, yeah. I appreciate y'all coming through, man. This is oh, man. once you start talking about yeah, boxing, man, bro. It, it goes on. It, it, it tells itself, man. It does. It uh, does. And and you guys, man, want to be involved in boxing, man, and learn and training, guys, man. Get with the gym, man. Look around, find some coaches, man, and uh, they they tend to let anybody who's who's well intended to come in, man, help out. You always need help in the gym, yeah, man. Exactly. You, can't, you can't have enough help, man. Uh, Y'all make sure to get a what next fight up. Let me see nextfightup.com. Get your tickets, man. Or okay. y'all selling tickets? Yeah, we selling like tickets too. Get in uh, touch with uh. How would they get in touch with you? Just hit me up eight three two two zero six six eight three seven. Hit me up on my social media page. I'll deliver to you. Uh, appreciate all the love. Want to say big shout out to my sponsors. First Soap Boxing, exclusive DTS. Lord of, uh, Lord of Auto Glass, all your auto glass needs, man. Uh, nice, man. nice. Yeah, so uh, we appreciate y'all having us on the show, bro. It was a pleasure coming out. Pleasure being here. Always man. is, bro. Always <laughs> I is. know it was a trip, but I yeah, appreciate you, man. It was well worth it, well worth it, man. All right, this is Coach Derek, Coach Joe, JoJo. Lewis. Lewis, uh, the Houston hitman, he's hiding back here because he don't uh, know. Gonna take all the shine. Move, move, in move in silence. Move in silence. I just be chilling with the Yeah. <laughs> appreciate appreciate y'all tuning in, guys. See y'all next week. Peace out.